I'm going to look at uh, my content area. So I'll select my content and look at lessons and courses. Now these are some of the lessons that I've created using the Soft Chalk Create program. We'll look at that in just a few minutes. What we now want to do is take some content that we've already created and we want to put it into Blackboard Learning Management System. The process is actually fairly simple. I point to the title of the lesson that I'd like to place into Blackboard and I click. That's going to give me a preview or change my view to the preview window where I see the table of contents that I've displayed uh, and also all of the information for that particular lesson. If I wanted to, I can preview this and see if it's exactly the lesson I want. I know it is, so I'm now going to scroll down, and this is where we see lesson actions right below the preview area. As I continue to scroll down, I then see the share capabilities, and we can share this lesson in a variety of different methods. We've got a hyperlink, and this is a permanent hyperlink. So if I make modifications to my lesson, it's still going to be using this same link. I also see an LTI hyperlink. LTI stands for Learning Tools Interoperability. I can use that and place that link into a Blackboard Learning Management System. And I also have an embed code. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to decide whether I need this lesson to be scored, meaning I want my students' responses and their scores to go into the Blackboard gradebook, or if I just want to take the lesson, put it into Blackboard, and let it be an information only. Well first, let's deal with a scored lesson. I select the LTI hyperlink. I'm then going to copy that link. Now I'm going to go into my Blackboard Learning Management System. I've already logged in as an instructor. I'm now going to enter a course where I want that particular lesson to be placed. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put it inside of a General Studies course. So I'm going to select General Studies. I'm going to go into my content area for that course. I'm going to choose Tools, Basic LTI Tool. I'll then do this by URL, and I'm going to call this Thomas Jefferson. I'm going to paste that LTI link. I'll then submit it. Now when I submit this, what it is going to give me here is a grading column options. So those of you who are wondering whether or not this is going to go into the gradebook, it will. I can choose how I want it to be graded, percentage or score. I'll let it be percentage. The maximum number of points for this lesson is going to be 20. I already know that. And I also notice that I can include this in the gradebook, which is what I want to do. I'm going to click on Submit, and I've now submitted this lesson. It is now part of that particular content area. I'm just going to move it up a little bit so it appears at the top of my screen. Now if I go into my Grade Center, and I look at the full Grade Center here, you'll notice once the Grade Center appears, the Thomas Jefferson lesson is now part of my gradebook. And, and if my students are going to access this lesson, then their scores would then move into that gradebook. Now, I want to see a lesson that a student has already completed. I'm going to go back into that content area and as an instructor, I noticed that a student had already done this quadratics lesson. If I click on it, it's still going to display the Soft Chalk Score Center. It shows me the students or students uh, that uh, has already completed the lesson. I see their score. I see the date they completed it, and this person made one attempt at the lesson. Now they only scored five out of the ten points. Pretty cool. 
I'm then going to just examine this and I want to see how they've earned those five points. So I'm going to click on that particular date and it then opens up the score center where we can actually see how the students have answered the question and they did a quiz question, a matching quiz question, and got it correct. Then there was an activity that they didn't even attempt. That's why they've only scored 10 points, or 5 out of the 10 points. I'm going to return back to my student list, and I'm now looking at my score center again. Well, let me go back into the content area. And what we have done, again, we went to our Tools menu, and we then chose our basic LTI tool to add our lesson. All right, well, that's really great. Now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to modify the content that I've created, the Thomas Jefferson lesson. So I'm going to go back into the Soft Chalk Cloud, I'm currently looking at that Thomas Jefferson lesson. I'm going to edit the lesson in the Soft Chalk Cloud. So I'll click on that. It's then going to ask me, is it OK to start Java Web Start? Yes, it is, because that's how we start the download process of the Soft Chalk Create program. So it's now loading the Create program. In a few seconds, it will show me the program window. And now it's ready to load the program. Now I'm going to make some changes to the way this lesson uh, looks to my students. First of all, I really don't like the purple look. So I'm going to go to Properties and Style Properties. And I'm going to modify this. I'm going to let it be this personal style that I created using the Soft Chalk Create program window, or using the Soft Chalk Style Builder program. I'm also going to modify the way the students navigate. I've decided that I really didn't want my students to be able to navigate anywhere they want at any time. So I've removed all of the navigation except for include bottom navigation. I'll then click OK. I've really changed the look of my lesson. Now I'm also going to change some of the content in my lesson. As I scroll down here, I notice that I have a hyperlink that I am sending my students to. Well, I'm going to take that hyperlink and I'm going to just cut it from where it's located. And I'm now going to insert an iframe tool so that I'm actually going to display that website within my lesson. And I'm going to do that simply by putting in the URL, putting in a width that I want the page to display, and then also a height, and I'll make it 450, and then I'll do an OK. So I've really changed the structure of this particular lesson. Now I'm ready to take this and I'm going to save it back to the Soft Chalk Cloud. So we have loaded our cloud-based program and then we are storing this into the cloud. I'll select it and save it and it's going to replace that current lesson. To use the LTI link, you must use the newest version of the Soft Chalk Create program. That gives you the ability to store your content to the cloud. I'll then click on OK. It's now been saved. I'll click on Close. And I'm going to close this particular lesson or the Soft Chalk Create program. It's on the cloud. I'm going to refresh my screen here just so I can get the new look to appear. And you'll notice it really does look different. Now, what else do I need to now do inside of Blackboard? Well, let me go back into Blackboard. And I'm looking at my lesson right now that I have in my General Studies class. Let's see what it's done. I click on it, 
I'm going to go into the view lesson just to see what it looks like. And there it is looking identical to the changes that I have made. Now my lesson is a personal lesson. I didn't have to change the privacy setting because I've placed that link inside of Blackboard. Inside of our Soft Chalk Cloud, I'm going to go back to my list view. Notice that the Thomas Jefferson lesson is a personal lesson, which means I'm not sharing it with the world. I've placed the link inside of Blackboard so that my students can access this lesson. And as they access it, the scores would then go into the Blackboard gradebook. Pretty cool. Now, that was inside of the lesson that I put within my general studies class. Let's go back into my history course. So I'll go back into my courses, go inside of American history. I'm going to go into the content folder and select that Thomas Jefferson lesson. It's going to redirect me once again to the Soft Chalk Score Center. Now I want to view the lesson, and as I view this lesson, notice it's identical. So if I am teaching the same course in multiple sections, I just paste that link into each section that I'm going to have that lesson appear. If I want to make changes to it, I change it once in the cloud, and I am done. And that's all it takes to put my content into Blackboard and have it then go into the Blackboard gradebook. Now the question would be, what can I do to take content and just make it a lesson that my students view, but it's not going to go into the gradebook? Well, I'm going to take this George Washington lesson. I'll click on it, and I'm going to put that into my Blackboard system, but I am not going to make it connect to the gradebook. That just means I'm going to select this hyperlink. I'll then copy the hyperlink to my clipboard, go back into Blackboard Learn, and now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to build content. The content I'm building is a web link. This is going to display a different dialog window. I'm going to call this uh, the first president. And then I'll paste that link. I'll then scroll down just a little bit. I could put in a description if I would like. I'll come down. Now, do I want my students to be able to view the content? I'm going to open it in a new window, and I'm going to track the number of views. I then submit this, and I have now placed the first president link, or the first president lesson, inside of Blackboard. And again, as a student accesses this, they click, and it then opens that particular lesson, The Life of George Washington. I'll close that and I'm back into my Blackboard system. Now, can I modify this so it doesn't open in a new window? Well, I can go and edit that content, scroll down, and then choose Open in a New Window. I'm going to say No. I'll submit this, and I'm working directly in Blackboard here, and then I just click on the lesson, and it's opening within the Blackboard window, and there's my lesson. So we have now added content to our lesson, one that was scored, and some content that was not scored. Done very easily using the Soft Chalk Cloud programs and Soft Chalk Create. The LTI link is what we use when we want to make it connect to the gradebook. The hyperlink is what we use when we want it to just be an information lesson. When we're in Blackboard Learn, 
we use tools and basic LTI tool to connect it to the gradebook and when we just want to put in content that is not going to be scored we build content and we use the web link and that is how we can use the soft chalk cloud with Blackboard